class in the previous class we have discussed about classification of minerals properties of minerals and sources of minerals today we are going to discuss about lesson number 5 which is deficiency problems of minerals let us start with macro minerals at the beginning in the first so calcium let us look at what would be the deficiency problems which would occur because of the calcium deficiency in our body so it might lead to osteoporosis it might lead to rickets it might lead to osteomalacia it might lead to hypocalcemia so osteoporosis it leads to weakening of bones making them fragile and more prone to fractures rickets usually seen in children which will lead to softening and weakening of bones also with skeletal deformities osteomalacia it is usually seen in adults which will lead to bone pain and muscle weakness hypocalcemia symptoms of hypocalcemia include numbness muscle cramps spasms and convulsions due to deficiency of phosphorus in our body what are those problems which are occurring so first one is hypophosphatemia which will lead to muscle weakness bone pain fragile bones and impaired growth in the children also osteomalacia is another problem which is seen which whose symptoms involve softening of bones similar to the calcium deficiency next let us look on to the deficiency problem with respect to magnesium so it involves hypomagnesemia the symptoms of this particular problem includes muscle cramps seizures abnormal heart rhythms and coronary spasms fatigue and weakness is another deficiency problem which is seen due to the deficiency of the magnesium in our body it leads to general lack of energy and muscle weakness in our body let us now look on to the deficiency problems associated with sodium in our body hyponatremia is one such problem with symptoms including headache confusion seizures and coma it can be caused by excessive sweating vomiting or diarrhea also let us look on to the deficiency problems associated with potassium hypokalemia is one such problem which is occurred due to the deficiency of potassium symptoms include muscle weakness cramps fatigue arrhythmias and constipation so severe cases may also lead to paralysis next mineral is chlorite the deficiency problems associated with chlorite are hypochloremia symptoms include dehydration loss of appetite muscle weakness and lethargy deficiency problems associated with sulfur are rare because sulfur is widely available in protein rich foods and deficiency is uncommon so potential symptoms if deficiency occurs could be joint pain and fatigue with this i want you to do a little bit of homework so recall the deficiency problems of minerals with this we come to an end of lesson number 5 thank you